Sonic is heading out on his next adventure in another attempt to revive Sonic from his unfortunate fall from fame. It's a new 3D adventure for the Wii and DS, in the same vein as Sonic Unleashed. Does this Nintendo exclusive outshine his past failures? Or is Sonic doomed to repeat his mistakes? Unlike Sega's earlier attempt this year, Sonic 4, this is not a retro-inspired throwback. Instead, we get a fully 3D high-speed adventure, with Sonic and his buddy Tails breaking into an intergalactic theme park built by Eggman. Eggman has developed a remorseful attitude about his misdeeds, and has built a massive space station anchored to several demi-planets to be used as a theme park. Sonic is unconvinced that Eggman has good intentions, and decides to invade the park with Tails. He discovers that Eggman has harvested little alien lifeforms called Wisps. After discovering this, he's off to the planetoids to free them, smashing Eggman's robotic weapons as he goes. The story comes off as a bit of a fresh start for Sonic. The overly heavy concepts are gone, in favor of a lighter, more straightforward story. Wisps add an interesting mechanic as they each have a specific power that Sonic can utilize throughout the game. Boss battles are quick and straight to the robot busting. The visual side of things also hold a present surprise. Texture work and colors make the game absolutely stunning. Each planet has its own distinct feel and look, and it just feels relaxing looking at some of the environments. However, Environments are heavily and very noticeably repeated relentlessly. It probably won't dab in your experience much, but it is unfortunate that Sonic Team still refuses to stop cutting corners with its games. Technically, the game runs very fluidly. Another high point of the game, Sonic breezes by in a buttery smooth frame rate, even with a lot of stuff packed onto the screen. Particle and lighting effects are spectacular as well. Fireworks and explosions look especially crisp and effective. The beautiful orchestral style music makes a return from Sonic Unleashed, and it couldn't be more welcomed. However, certain levels oddly use more rock style music. Again, not a problem for some people. This may serve to interrupt the flow of the game, as orchestra and rock music are two very different genres, and some may argue, do not mix well. Sonic and Tails have both received new voice actors this time around. This may be upsetting to some and great news to others. Did a little shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh, really? And they've got shopping here too? The game can be beaten in about six or seven hours. Not very long, but the story is delivered at a quick pace. Mandatory filler levels, as usual, make an appearance. These are basically cut and paste levels that serve no real purpose other than to lengthen the game. Another bad habit from Sonic Team, however, these levels are easier to swallow this time around. They are very short and easy, and occasionally you are rewarded with a quick story cutscene. This is still an annoyance that doesn't seem to be going anytime soon, but it's good to see that these levels are getting less and less obnoxious. The replay value is above average. Its below average time requirement naturally means that the game can be beaten multiple times in a shorter time frame. However, the filler levels hinder this aspect of the game. You may want to go back and just play the levels that you enjoyed most, and the cutscenes are always available in the menu. Again, this game does not bring Sonic back to the legendary status. Some Sonic fans may have already given up on Sonic long ago, but if you're looking for a Sonic game that isn't riddled with cut corners and broken hearts, this may be it. The game is easy to jump in and out of, and the pacing is much calmer. So for a busy Sonic fan, this is the game for you. However, if you are not a fan of Sonic, this game is one of the better places to start. Just don't look back, unless you go as far back as the original Epic Trilogy. We give this game an exceptional tag, or 4 out of 5. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more reviews. Thanks for watching.